Good day, everybody. How's it going out there? Yeah, it's been better, for sure. Most people, unlike any other time in this that we know, know somebody who is caught um, for a particular virus that's been going around. And unfortunately, that means that one of the um, things that I mentioned in the prior video, which was talking about convention gatherings in 2022, has come to pass a lot faster than has been expected. In this case, um, there is a situation in which a convention that was going to be held this upcoming weekend has had to postpone its event in, because of the growing cases of coronavirus and concerns such as that. Also, maybe there are people who are going to perform, a lot of people who are going to perform and, and, and provide content for the convention also decided to um, not come to the convention due to the growing concerns in one way and also probably because maybe some of them have tested positive, right? And if you've tested positive for um, coronavirus, you obviously don't want to go in an event where you can risk passing it on to others. So, you know, for multiple reasons, um, convention or convention attendees who are going to be providing content or were in charge of certain things um, started calling into further confusion, um, saying that they would not be able to make it. And though further confusion tried to hold out as long as it could and tried to see any foreseeable options that it had and in and, and try to you know, have the show go on as it were was finally able to reach an agreement with their hotels and establishments and was able to basically um, get an agreement to postpone the events so at this point we do not know whether or not they will be held in 2022 you know, it might be held at a later date in 2022. We'll have to keep an eye on this as we go. Um, there is a link in the description below to an article which I had created for this year. Um, I decided to put an end to the other article, as I said in the previous video, the one that we started in 20, March of 2020, to talk about cancellations of fur furry conventions. Um, you know, we basically put an you know put a stop to that one because it was getting very large and there was a lot of stuff in there that really was outdated information. And so I created a new version of that um, delays and um, cancellations article, which you can see in the link in the description below. If we get any new um, information about further postponements or cancellations from um, conventions, then we will let you know. Um, one thing did come up um, before they announced their cancellation, which I think is worthy of talking about for a little bit of the time here, um, but this will be a short video nonetheless. Um, there was a the thing that Further Confusion tried to implement um, before it decided that this show was a no-go. Um, and that was um, support a supporting non-attendee style ticket where a person could contribute to a convention, even if they were not comfortable in going or couldn't attend for either health or safety or um, maybe even financial reasons, like major financial reasons where it's like you could afford to give them some money, but maybe you can't afford to go to the convention this year, but you still want to show your support in this way. And so they had a, a, a reduced cost um, not attending art, art item to support the convention in anticipation that there would be less people showing up due to um, corona concerns. Um, I think that this is actually a very great, a good idea. And I think it's something that sh maybe should be, uh, money convention should think about implementing in their own way. Um, you know, basically if um, this way, local furs will know how to support their local furry conventions or their favorite furry conventions, um, you know, if, even if they aren't local, and basically be able to um, keep the lights on as it were even during these uncertain times and try to keep um, try to keep the the cash flow going so that you know they understand it's like well I would have got I would have paid money this year to this so I don't want to get into the bad habit of like not paying money and getting used to not having money for these conventions um, things like that so I think it's a good idea um, and I think I like the fact that they reduce the price because they're not uh, actually taking up resources in person. Um, but they do have the option when you clicked on that option to add more if a person so desired. 
which is perfect implementation. Very good job on the part. And um, it's unfortunate that the entire convention, um, you know, had to, you know, took the error of the side of caution and decided to postpone the event this year. And, you know, unfortunately for all the artists who rely on it and all that stuff and their hearts go out to them. Um, but I think at the end of the day, the convention made a difficult decision and I, you know, it, they had to make a decision based on, you know, caring about people's health and well-being versus, you know, trying to make the show go on even um, with those risks. They made a risk assessment. They made a decision. Other conventions are going to make other decisions or, or they're going to keep going or they might cancel or they might postpone. So, as I said before, keep a... Um, Keep an eye on the article in the link in the description below. Um, it will be updated this year since I anticipate changes happening and we're not just kind of impromptuing it on the get-go. Um, we'll be doing cool, like some cool new things to keep help keep track of things and help um, you get information um, more, you know, more aptly. And that is, um, you know, we'll have a latest update date at the top when we make changes. And we will have a description saying like what the changes were in case, and I hope this isn't the case, the list gets long enough where, you know, little changes are not so obvious, right? Um, I think that was one of the big um, flaws of the prior list was if, you know, a date changed in the middle of the entire list, how would you know unless you actually went and changed it, right? Um, you might not notice the changes and stuff like that. And it's important that, you know, those changes are communicated um, um, to, to people as you make them so that they know they don't have to read through the whole thing again. Um, so anyways, that being said, um, thank you very much for watching today. Um, and I hope you guys have a good one. Um, if you like this kind of content, uh, kick that like, kick the subscribe, and kick a comment in the comment section. Um, how uh, do you think that uh, this is just a uh, the first step in, a, in another slew of cancellations and postponements? Or do you think that this hopefully will be a one-off and things will taper back um, to normal in a few months after, uh, after the winter season? Um, please feel free to uh, leave your comments in the below section below. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.